Okay, real quick, introduction. I'm going to do a look with Naked 3 on the eyes. I used two different lipsticks. This is the second one that I'm using, so you have to watch the end of the video to see which one this one looks like. Tell me which one you like better. It's alright, so fast. I filmed a long video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in a sec. I'm all blank. I want to paint. So you, let's start with the NYX eyeshadow base in white. It's a creamier, sheer version of the Milk Jumbo Stick Pencil. <laughs> that would be somebody in the back crushing a bottle of milk. <laughs> and breathing hard. Make me sound like a baby. Well, you're breathing hard back there. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Just blending this cream base all over my lid. It's pretty sticky. Um, so I'm just going to grab whatever's left on this brush that I dusted my uh, under eyes with, with my Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. I love that stuff. Just take away a little bit of the stickiness to make it easier to blend my eyeshadow product, which is going to be solely the Naked 3 palette. Ooh, camera. Camera. <laughs> Sorry, cough, cough, cough. Blah, blah, blah. It's going away slowly. It really is this time. Okay, so I'm gonna take Strange right here. They also fly them. And put that up here in my eyebrow area. Did my brows differently today. Um, I'll list the products below, but what I used was a Smashbox cream liner and the Smashbox powder. I used the dark brown clean cream liner and the blonde powder just to play with it. Because I wanted to do a different brow, you know, that's how I roll. Okay, so now I'm going to take uh, Limit right there. Almost all the way over to my eye. Almost all the way into the corner. Take some more of that Limit. This is a beautiful creamy matte shade. Again, I want to say say thank you to Sarah from uh, Seven Bear Sarah's uh, YouTube channel for letting I won this from her channel and thanks for sending it out to me. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some Nooner. Right. Nooner. And burial my eyeball out with it. Blending upwards, side to side. And circular motions helps too. I find though that if I don't wear the white eyeshadow base, my face just eats up this palette and I was like struggling. And then I was like, you know what? This My friend Kim said from Kimmy Knit's channel said, use some of your milk pencil and it worked. My face is not eating the makeup anymore. It was hungry. It wanted some of that rose gold. <coughs> okay, so right now, on my list of I need to get, is I want to get the Naked 1 palette and the Naked 2 palette. And I haven't picked up the Naked 2 because I want the one first. Uh, the first Naked palette. Um, and they've been sold out everywhere. Even online. Even at Urban Decay. They're making more. Just for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this dust. Dust. You see what I just did? I went and tickle that in. I'm using a pressing motion. This is a very chunky glitter. And just gently kind of pressing down and swiping to the side. Isn't that pretty though? Me and pink eyeshadow. Who'd have thunk? Hmm. Who'd have thunk? Take some of this dark. No, I think I'm going to take, um, which one do I want to take? Do I want to take factory or dark side? Factory or dark side? I'm going to take a little of uh, factory. Yeah. Yeah. 
dark side it would have been just too much for me right now. It would have come, taken me to the dark side. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. I do like this color, factory. It's got a nice shimmer in it. As you can see, I'm just kind of like putting it into my outer third of my eye. Kind of a V motion, kind of a C motion. Kind of a circle motion. Just back and forth. I like it! With a flat C brush, we're gonna go over to Nooner and just tip it, tip, and put the product on the tip of the flat side and we're gonna smooge. Smooge. Makes a very romantical eye, romantical. Actually, I have a look, lip look, two lip looks for this look that you're gonna see. So that's pretty excitement. Physicians Formula, Sexy Trio, Ooh La La, Sexy Trio Eyeliner, <laughs> in black. Whatever eyeliner you've got works great. today. I did. What was really funny is as I was on the ground getting underneath the entertainment unit I have in my living room, my husband came out and he looked at me funny. And I said, what? He goes, you look angry. Are you mad at me? I'm getting thicker here. I was like, I'm not mad at you, I just don't enjoy cleaning. <laughs> Eyeliner escapage. Alright. Finish up this big thick line with some pointy eyeliner out here. Dramatic. I don't, and it's not like birds and roses in here when I'm cleaning. I don't enjoy it like some people do. Wish I did. Wish it was a hobby. But no, it's a chore. Sweep, 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 sweep. Is it on straight? This one needs a little touch of right there. And here. How's that? How's that? Hey! Oh, there it is. I'm gonna use my eyelash curlers. I think I should let this dry a little bit. As I let this dry, before I use my eyelash curlers, I'm actually gonna try a new mascara. And I know I've already talked that I have my favorites in March, um, and I have four mascaras that I'm going through. I have the rest of my Lincoln, I have the Bombshell by CoverGirl, I have the Jordana Extreme Lash, and I have the uh, Bare Minerals... What's it called? Bare Minerals... Last Domination Sample. I'm gonna open this one. Is it too shiny? Milani. I don't know, the brush got me. Look at that. It's got like pink, white, green, and it's split, and it's got sharp teeth on it. Total Lash Cover Mascara with three zone brush. Number one, defines inner and outer lashes. Number two, the center builds the center lashes. And number three is the curl comb applicator. I'm opening it right now. I bought this about two months ago. And I couldn't talk myself. 
I had to go through another set of mascaras I'd been trying. And I finally was able to get rid of those and chose not to repurchase those. So out it comes, and this is what the brush looks like. Has anyone else tried this one? Okay, so the, the, the pink part does squish in. It looks like it, it's just kind of scary. But we will experiment. For science! Can I open this? No, I did not use my teeth. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. Okay. I put it in the tube. Total lash cover. This is in black. No longer colorful. So let's get to our curled lashes. <coughs> Curling! Sorry, my lash, my, I have a very broad eyelid and it doesn't curve as much as you think it should. So it takes me a second to adjust my eye lashes into my eyelash curler. Okay. I'm gonna grab a comb real quick because I think some of my eyeliner is still stuck on the tips of my lashes. I'm gonna flick through those. Soft, romantic, let's get crazy. Okay, here we go, folks. Let's do it. Let's concentrate. Stay on target. Um. Um. I'm hurting myself with the comb. Look at this eyeliner in my eye. Don't look. Alright, that's one coat. Excuse me, more product for the other eye. <laughs> the brush part feels kind of like a toilet bristle brush. I don't know. Or a toothbrush. Ow. Got me. Got me. It bit me. One more coat. Ah! In my eyebrow. Go up there. We'll fix you in a second. Well, it's all right. Not a very, it's nice and dry. I, I keep hurting myself with it though. Beauty is painful. I like the comb, it does separate. It separates pretty good. I'll have to fix that. With something. Fix it with something. Alright. Well, the last three mascaras I've tried, I had a much different reaction. And it was much more joyful. I think this works better than the Clump Crusher does for me. I like the way it works on my eyelashes on the bottom. Hey, there you go. I could use that as my bottom lash line. That's what it could be. Totes my goats. That's that. Mm. We don't know if we like it. We don't love it. We like it. Don't hate it. I'm going to take some strange, blend it into my corner here because I just remembered I didn't put any highlight into my inner corner and I like to highlight my inner corner. Strange as it sounds. <laughs> um, a favorite of mine is the Blush Subtle from uh, 
Lancome, and this is the Shimmer Mocha Havana. I still have tons of the sample left. Pretty. And I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush. It's a big fluffy brush. I usually use it to set my powder with. But I wanted to diffuse my blush, which smells very perfumey. Old fashioned y. I just wanted to diffuse my blush, and this is a good product to do that with. So it looks like I bronzed a little. Shimmer Mocha Havana! Havana, Havana, Havana! Havana, 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 na, 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 na. You can also, when you want it, you can sharpen it up and you can pinch the bristles. Fan them out. You can do what you want with this stuff. It's amaze balls. Mm hmm. I'm going to highlight with Hourglass. Mine is in Luminous Light. Tip. Upper Bridge. From my eyebrow down. You see, I do like a scooping motion. I go down. Upper lip. Bam! Okay, so I have two different options for lips. We're going to start with this Power Lip by Milani. And this one is in Creme Cafe. Movie. It's basically my lips, but better. I do like the formula of this. So far I have two colors. I'm a Milani fan, except for that mascara. Is it? It's alright. I could use it. I do like how it looks on my bottom lashes. I will say that. So this is the look with just the My Lips But Better in uh, 08 Creamy Cafe. I thought it really, really accentuated the rose gold in the eye makeup. I'm loving the thick black anime liner on my eye. What do you think? Makes my lashes look really BAM! Maybe they would have if I had used a different mascara. But, like I said, this one's not that bad. Nope. Let me take this off with my handy dandy paper towel that I have sitting right in front of me. The other option I have is with this NYC lipstick in sheer red. And I wanted to kind of coordinate with the burgundy of my lip. I mean, my nails. This smells like childhood. I know it doesn't match my nails, I wanted it to coordinate. And to be honest, this is a really nice lipstick. It's very creamy and emollient. It feels chapsticky, not chapsticky, but like moisturizing. Um, I think it's a very pretty color. Not too red, not too pink, not too mauve. And I do, I, the reason I wanted to try this lip with the look too is because I knew I was going to do a dramatic liner. And instead of being accentuating on the eyeshadow itself, it would be like the classic pinup black liner, red lip kind of thing in my own modern take. So let me know which look you like best. Um, I'm a fan of both. And I would wear both. And I will wear both. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about anything that I've used or what I did or why I did it, um, let me know. If you want me to show you how I did my eyebrows with those two different products from Smashbox, I can show you. It's very similar to that dip brow technique everyone's using. That's what made me think of it. Who knows? Maybe it's the newest thing. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Maybelline. No, it's not actually me. No, I didn't wear Maybelline at all today, did I? No, I didn't. I wore Revlon on my face. Which I do love this foundation, by the way. It's the um, Age Define, Revlon Age Define. Anywho, this is becoming a really long video, so I gotta sum it up. Thanks for watching. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.